Most of the crewmates of this Belgian beam trawler broodwinner are teenagers. This is a training vessel from a local maritime school. By the age of 16, students spend half of their school time at sea, getting hands-on experience in terms of fishing, navigation and marine engineering. Renovated with EU help, Broodwinner helps solve a growing challenge for the fisheries and aquaculture sector in Europe, that of an ageing workforce. For centuries, fisheries have been an intrinsic part of life and economic activity in Europe's coastal communities. Today, the EU fishing fleet directly employs more than 100,000 people, mostly in remote coastal regions where other employment opportunities could be scarce. The small-scale inshore fleet accounts for half of this employment. But with older fishers retiring and younger people preferring other career paths, the future of the profession is uncertain. In many areas, young people consider small-scale coastal fishing unreliable and unprofitable. Offshore trawling seen as hard work with a poor work-life balance. Some young people are simply unaware of fishing career options. Others are pushed away by a poor image of the fisheries sector, high start-up costs and uncertainty about future fishing opportunities. In response, the EU funds community-led local development programmes, so-called Fisheries Local Action Groups, or FLAGS. These local partnerships of civil society, business and public bodies come together to decide how they want to improve their area. Generational renewal is one of their priorities. Flags promote fisheries as a respected and attractive option, helping young people obtain the skills and qualifications to find a future in the fisheries sector.